Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Dark Souls. Alright, we're back at the Undead Burg bonfire, and if you remember, we opened up the shortcut to Undead Burg way back over by Fire Lake Shrine. So, you'll have to excuse me as I go back there. Uh, I got a new mic thanks to a very good friend of mine. It's probably gonna end up watching this later, so thank you very much. It actually sounds really good. I'm really uh, happy with it. Meanwhile, let's not die. So if you remember last time, we actually uh, got the key to the depths off of the Capper Demon which we so skillfully cheesed. Now we got stuff off this vendor last time. So we don't need to visit her again. Let's block this guy, kill him. Yeah. Take that. Jump. And we have a soul item over here, I believe. Yep. And we open up our way to the depths. <sighs> we also made ourselves human for a little side quest we're gonna do later. There's a guy right around the corner, so I'm luring this one up here so we uh, can kill this guy first without getting bum-rushed. There we go. Another dude over here. Block a shield. Is there anything over here? Yes, there is. Soul item. If you're wondering where I haven't popped any soul items, I usually use that as a uh, supplement in if there's a uh, if there's like a level where I kind of want to get something and I'm just a few souls short of going up like another level and getting another stat I'll use the soul items just to supplement that little give yourself like a little vitamin boost all right Fuck you, guy. Alright. Guy's not fucking around. Neither am I. Sugar orange juice. Get this guy around the corner. Now, if we look over here, we have Butcher Demon. We also have Dog. Right around there. There he is kind of see him down there. Let's kill a dog before we take on that butcher demon. Interesting fact. Butcher demon there is a she. Another dog. Kill it. Fuck you. There we go. Butcher demon. This guy really hurts. Girl. do this. Luckily pretty easy to dodge. Although not if you're bad. Come on, just like one or two more hits. That'll do it and let's go in for this. Alright, got him. And we have here Large Ember. That'll actually allow us to upgrade our weapon even further to up to a plus 10. But first, let's go over here because there is a little secret that I want to show you. I believe this is a uh, guy who will sell us pyromancies over in the next room. If we rescue him, of course. Oh, god damn it. Fuck you, guy. I'm 
Now, we go over here and rescue this guy. I don't know what the developers were thinking, but there's just a guy right there floating in the middle of fucking nowhere. It's just waiting for us to actually go rescue him. So that's supposed to be a little, uh, fucking trap. Yeah, I'll help you, dude. I guess. Thank you. I would have been in suffering without you. Been in the line. I started to think. Thank you. Thank you, dearly. I am Laurentius. Oh, the great school. I will not forget my death to you. Also, I rolled into him because if you hit him with your weapon, you'll just end up killing him. And you don't want that. Unless you're a heartless bastard. Now, guy drops down. Come on. Oh, fuck. Blue tear stone. Yeah. Gotcha. Got the sack. Now, if we want, we could go put that guy's sack on our face. Now, this is the normal entrance. Ooh, neat. There's an item over there. But wait. Take your time. Check your surroundings. There's something hanging from the ceiling over there. So what I'm going to do is this. Die, monster. You don't belong in this world. Alright, so there's a long hallway here, and there's a couple of guys that will fall from the ceiling. But first, I actually want to go through the other entrance. Because behind the first Butcher Demon, there's actually kind of a shortcut. What we have here? A giant rat. We have a humanity. Oh, are we supposed to get something else? Oh, there it is. Sewer chamber key. That's what I was looking for. Now, we could actually just straight go to the boss right now. But that's not fun. Who doesn't enjoy a good sewer level? I think everyone. That was sarcasm. I'm sorry. Won't happen again. Alright, got another rat here. There we go. Oh, there's something I kind of want to show you. Over here, we have a big hole. That leads to a pit of death. If you ever, ever come here, please, save yourself the trouble. And look where you're going before you jump. Do not end up falling for the trap. Down there are a bunch of mobs called uh, Basilisks. And if you know anything like Harry Potter or uh, general uh, general like magical animals a basilisk is essentially a giant snake that will uh, that likes to petrify dudes and all right <sighs> all right we'll make our way back there so basilisks dudes that will petrify you and turn you into stone Let's go back. Oh, this place is cancer. And that is why you take that place slow. Anytime you see those undead guys, 
take it slow, because they can wreck you in groups. So, coming off of work today. Not a bad day. I, uh... Found out one of my co-workers does not like Katy Perry while uh, some Katy Perry was playing off the YouTubes on the radio. And we just annoyed the crap out of her. Just uh, because I love just karaokeing all over the place. And uh, I don't dislike Katy Perry, like she's alright, she's got okay music. Some of it's kind of catchy, but uh, just the fact that I was able to annoy her with it was fucking tremendous. It was amazing. Alright, let's just run past this dog. First, let us go to the bonfire. Now, if it's your first time in the depths, this place can be kind of confusing. You'll be like, where the fuck do I go? You actually go down here. Stick to the left side, and you could just ride that all the way to the bottom. And you're on your way. There is one thing, one or two things I actually want to hit up before we just go to the boss and speedrun this. What the hell, guy? There we go. There we go. One thing, I actually want to kill one of these uh, six-eyed channelers. One of the same dudes that we uh, killed in the uh, undead church. Reason being is he actually is a little bit of annoyance in the boss fight. Which is actually right down here. So let's go back. Just clearing this place out. And we also have ourselves an uh, NPC right here. Let's see what he's got. I should I am pretty. I'm Donald of Zena. I'm just a nurse. I adore trinkets and oddities, so I trade for them. And this guy will actually sell us uh, some weapons and armor. Some of which is actually pretty cool. But if you come back later after you've killed like certain bosses, you'll be able to buy uh, look-alike armor from those bosses. So, well, that is a shame, but no matter. No, not to worry. Come back again. I'm always available. Not every trade was meant to be. There'll be more in store for us someday, sometime. Uh, he'll actually move just off of Firelink Shrine after we've uh, cleared this place, I believe. So we're going to go down there a little later, but first let's go and open us the shortcut essentially. Do we have the key? Yes. No. Now this is uh, down the hallway from uh, where we found that one uh, soul item when that guy uh, jumped from the ceiling, that blob. This is at the whole end of that hallway. And we have the bonfire. And we want to become human for a certain event in the sewers. Also I believe we could summon soul air for this boss. So let's go and... Uh, do all that then. First, I want to go find the six eye channeler. So good. Great axe. Now, if we were a strength build, that'd actually be pretty good. But we're dexterity. Also, trigger warning, jump scares.
Now these guys are just off the main room where we fought the giant rat behind one of the grates. Just giving you an idea. That tail's still wagging. <laughs> Alright, so soul item and a fog gate. Oh. This is actually where we died last time. But first, I kind of want to lure this guy up here. Oh my god, they hurt like trucks now. No, no, no. No! Alright. See you guys back here. And we have our souls. Let's go kill these guys quick. Oh, fuck. Alright. Bring it on. Take that. As I immediately get jumped by a rat. Alright, yeah, there's nothing in there. And large titanite. It's gonna be useful for weapon upgraded. Later. Now, we can actually get back to where we were. And be on our merry way. Yeah, let's go this way. This way's faster. I'm actually gonna go, even though I said it's a very bad idea. I'm gonna go to where the basilisks are. We're probably only gonna have to kill like one or two. But if we can, there's an item down there, and there's actually a special NPC that'll spawn and try to kill us. Man, let's not die to that. And it's actually part of a side quest. If we get if we kill him at all these different locations, we could actually get a neat little thing out of it. I killed that one in one hit. That's weird. Alright, so down here. If you want to save your sanity, please don't go to this cancer. Speaking of cancer, we're not in Blight Town yet. Just make it sure. Make it sure. Make it sure. That's just fun. Alright, I think we need to... There's a Basilisk. Let's not go and kill that. Let's pull it back here. Yeah. Dark Spirit Knight Kirk. And then we call those cheese strats. Ooh. So we had a Dark Wraith invade us. It's an NPC Dark Wraith, so it's not going to be a big deal. No! Alright, killed him. Get a lot of souls out of that. Spike shield. Barb straight sword. Yeah. Let's see how the shield looks. Oh. Not bad, not bad. Stability and stability is down. Eh. And only 90% physical reduction. Does it have anything else? Can be used as a weapon. I'd imagine that hurt really bad. There is a ring that is down there, but it's not very worth it. It, uh... 
Whenever you kill an enemy, it heals you slightly. It sounds like it's better than it is. It's not really good. Ooh, and we have Solaire. We don't need him, because this boss is actually ridiculously easy. But, you know, sun bro. Jolly cooperation and all. We're also going to go and... Well, I'll explain when we actually get to it. What do we have here? It's like a crocodile or something? What? What? That's a big bitch! Ah, the open heart surgery dragon. Go one, two. I actually don't want to do this. All right. So if you're actually in front of it when he's actually doing that march, he really hurts. Probably one shot you. Now remember what I said: if you cut down, cut off a dragon's tail, uh, you get a weapon for it. Same thing here. All right, drop down, you fucking. Piggly son of a bitch. There you go. Get like three attacks in it. He takes more damage from his nose area. If you could call that a nose. And you only have time for about three or four attacks depending on how uh, how fast your weapon attacks. As I miss everything. But we're going to try to go for the weapon. Yeah! Got it. You really don't want to be anywhere near him until he actually falls down. He also does this really bad puking attack. Oh, and if you start out as the knight class, that's actually your starting armor that I just picked up. Okay, just getting out of the way now, preemptively. Because he will one-shot you if you could if you don't dodge like any of his greatly telegraphed attacks. So just take the time and actually just run away, take the time with the fight. Punch him in the nose two or three times. And the fight's easy. And you can also poke him in the butt. But pretty much everything he does will one-shot you if you actually get hit by anything. as I miss three attacks. Alright, come on. It's gonna pop down. Get chip. because it can do like the big sweep attack that will still kill us. Alright, run. Let's use a heavy attack that we missed completely. Really good at this. I swear I've done this before. Watch for that. I do not suggest locking on in this fight. It's a great hindrance. And we got him. We got the key to Blight Town. That cancerous hellhole. And we got a lot of souls. So I am actually just going to use Homeward Bone, level up, and we are going to take our asses to Blighttown. 
and we have the door to Blicktown right here. Let's see if we could at least get to the bonfire. But when we get to the bottom, I need to go and put some things on my bar. Oh, we got purple moss. That's what we're going to need. We're probably going to need blooming moss clump because there is... If you can't tell by the name, there's actually a lot of poison and shit in Blight Town. We don't need to deal with the guy. Run past. Run. We're gonna make our way to... We're just gonna speed run to the fucking first bonfire here. Because God knows I don't want to deal with that shit. No! Fuck. Alright. I don't like going this way. I actually just usually take the the back door, which you can only do if you have the master key, which I always have. So, you go this way, and uh, you're just setting yourself up for cringe-inducing fucking epileptic seizures. I'm making this sound fucking amazing. does nothing while he does that roar. So let's run past. Those guys move slow so we don't have to worry. These guys have really shitty, like, weak attacks. And they also have, like, a flailing attack that's just annoying more than anything. Okay. So, actually, let's go over here. Yeah. And we actually have a weapon right here, the Yato, which is actually just like a like a really fast uh, like ninja sword it's actually not bad if we decide to go for pyromancy there is actually one thing I wanna get right here and that's our goal right there that big tentacly thing that thing is fucking horrendous And now you're going to die. to be toxic stat. Alright, blooming purple moss. Okay, good. So, there's poison and then there's toxic, which is kind of poisonous. It's like having cancer on top of being poisoned. Now, can we jump down? Yes. The answer is yes. And we're at the bonfire. Christ. That's gonna be fantastic. Alright, I think we're gonna end out here. We're in Blight Town. Jump for fucking joy. We're making our way downtown, walking fast. Faces pass and I'm homebound. Do 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 do